Hello everybody, thank you so very much for checking out my channel today. Thank you so very much for watching this review. Please like, comment, subscribe as I continue to bring you weekly content. And today I'm going to be bringing you Transformers Siege Springer. And as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy. Transformers, and you got the Autobot insignia there, Generations to Tarka Tommy on the side of the box here. You just got a picture of Springer going into action. And the bottom box is written words, don't need, blah, 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 copyright, blah, blah, blah. And the side of the box, you just got that lovely picture artwork from the show there. It is really good. I hope they decide to bring us another uh, art toy. I know they did for uh, Dark of the Moon with Sentinel Prime. But, yeah, this is actually really cool artwork that you got here. Again, Transformers, War for Cybertron, all that good stuff. And back of the box you've got your obligatory product shots of Springer this that and the other he is blues compatible all that good stuff as you can see there in more copyright blah 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 property of Hasbro we all know that and you're down on your stocks right now and yeah that is basically it for the packaging and let's take a look at Springer in his car mode See, I really do like the uh, detailed artwork that we got here. This is an okay figurine. It has its issues, but it's an okay figurine. Here's the top part of it. And here's the bottom part of it. In the front side, in the back side. And hang on. And now uh, for comparison, here he is. With Power of the Primes Hot Rod. You can see how they scale up with one another. And here he is with always trustworthy Siege Megatron. See how they scale up? Megatron is like a little bit a little bit bigger than what he is. And Lastly, but not leastly, Siege of Practice. Let's see how they like to scale up one another. As you can see, Magnus is a lot bigger than what uh, Springer is. Let's see how they scale up there. Magnus Siege, I mean, excuse me, Springer can also fit you know, on top of Magnus there. He's not going to fit inside Magnus, unfortunately. So, yeah. That's basically it for the comparisons. All right, let's go ahead and get into that helicopter mode. Shall we? Yeah, here's what he looks like in his uh, helicopter mode. It is pretty cool. Basically, it's a long <laughs> bit of a battle back here with his legs because his legs are his uh, helicopter mode part. And it does come with, uh, hang on, just a sec, the accessories. Which are these three things right here. Well, there's four. I accidentally lost one of the swords. It's around here somewhere. just probably in storage. Yeah, that's it for the accessories. And with the accessories, what you're supposed to do with this thing is slide the sword onto here. And you also take the gun, his other gun, and slide it onto here. And just push this around and watch it go weed. Yeah, just close the freely there. So yeah, that is pretty cool. Another look at that there. This is a little kind of a little difficult because of Hasbro's lovely instructional booklets. And I'll show you. It's a little hard to figure these damn things out. That's the only negativity I'll give to Hasbro is their uh, instructional booklets suck. Yeah. Alrighty. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into his robot mode, shall we? Yeah, here's what he looks like in his robot mode. This is actually pretty cool, very G1 rememberish. So I'm hoping once uh, Siege is all said and done with, that they will uh, give us something new. I think that's actually. Yeah, that's supposed to go on there. Sorry about that. So I hope they give us something new, take us a shot, give us a shot in the dark, and give us something new like they do with Beast Wars. 
Just take a new shot, shot in the dark with it. And now for articulation wise, as you can see, his legs will go back and forth. And that's pretty much about it, and they will do the splits too. And his arms can do just go back go back and forth. They can't really do full 360 because the way how he's designed. And his head does do a full 360 as well. If I can get him stand properly. Alright. And here is the rest of his accessories. You can just armor him up here. And there you go. This is pretty cool. And for comparison, you stand. And here is Springer with the rest of the class from 1986 from the figures that I own here. And I actually had his uh, waist mist transformed there, so yeah, that's actually what the bottom of his uh, lower uh, body is supposed to look like. Yeah, my apologies about that, I had that completely mist transformed. Yeah. And yeah, that is basically it for this review. Thank you so very much for watching my video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as I always continue to bring you weekly content. And don't forget, I'm also doing a contest up until September 30th. It'll be consistently on ongoing. So again, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And I hope everybody has a COVID-free day. Thank you.